Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial in camera and lens repair and this time I am um, well one of my friends asked me to if I could take a look at this Canon zoom lens it's the EF 24 millimeter to 70 millimeter and 2.8 L version 2 and uh, of course USM it has a zoom problem but can we make it uh, maybe um, it is a problem I mean the focus uh, is fine also when set on camera but the zoom has a problem and it's really not really good I mean it it's too loose. I mean, it doesn't have to be loose at all. So if I uh, pull it out here, we can probably get it to work. But still, it has a problem. So, um, and you cannot really pull it out. I mean, uh, push it out to something like 70 millimeter, because you cannot really turn the zoom ring itself of course you can pull in in the uh, front um, part of it and probably have it uh, help it a little but still it's not good so I take a sneak peek inside the lens and um, well I could see there was really a problem but can we solve it? Well, I hope so. Um, let's dig into it. We need a few tools. Uh, of course, JIS screwdrivers, 2 millimeter and 2.5 millimeter. And uh, tweezers is always a good thing. And a dentist tool with soft corners. Uh, uh, well, because I think maybe I need to take off the focusing ring, I mean the, <laughs> the zoom ring, uh, to get it in. But I don't think so. But, uh, well, just take off the, the um, back cover here. And um, I will need my, my spade tool here to get off the plastic back ring here. Uh, which sits around inside the mount <clears throat> and uh, that should be all with this also need to take off to loosen this I mean unscrew the two screws here on the uh, contact bridge and of course uh, four screws around here for now so let's begin with that dig into it uh, you probably can do it with a uh, a thin screwdriver. Well, we could actually try. This is a two millimeter flathead screwdriver, and we can probably come in to it that way. But hmm, I prefer my uh, dentist tool because well, it just work as I know. So don't uh, do too much to the plastic. It could be a little, uh, it could break easily. And then get on the side. Hmm. Not enough. So have a little more room here. And then I can begin to lift it off gently. All the way around. And then it's free. And now the two screws for the uh, contract bridge. And I think, well, uh, maybe some people they said, well, I only need one screwdriver. Hmm, 2.5 would be fine. But it's not really possible to get into the screws here. Um, not that good. So that's why I need the 2 millimeter. Uh, for that uh, bridge here. So all for that, two screws. 
nothing special and so here and now <coughs> we need the four screws around here they are the same length so there is not any problem with that So there, next time I'll reuse a hammer, <laughs> a big one, yep, so good with a magnetized screwdriver, in some cases, some cases not, but um, that's why also a uh, straight tweezer is fine now push the uh, the contact bridge so it's free because then if you just pull out the the, uh, the mount well uh, you could probably break the flex cable so lift it off and you can see the whole back here come loose it could be different in your lens so the mount itself came off like it is now <laughs> separate uh, it just have to sit that way here so the red dot is uh, actually in line with the af mf uh, button but we can just take it off no problem i mean the contact bridge can only sit in uh, one way with the two screws here so uh, so now we're looking into the circuit board and that's what I found out hmm what is the problem you maybe can see it already not the circuit board but the problem is actually the key so if we move it here you can see hmm it's actually broken in two parts and um, if it is a steel I can probably weld it together with a piece of silver or uh, with a flame but you can see here it's really a problem because it's wiggling a little wiggle a little because the screw is loose and the pin in that way also get uh, broken so that's why I need <coughs> to take off the circuit board with all the flex cables here um, so uh, let's begin with that hmm. I think maybe this one can be useful it's just a dentist tool that is broken I don't know if it's thin enough in the hmm it will probably work so it just pull it out take care of the the um, if there is any wire underneath it here or maybe here so don't scratch the circuit board itself so don't have some patient so they can come loose and so it's free almost maybe I have to make another dentist tool to make this much easier okay. now and the plate the circuit board is actually sitting with one screw attached to the to the body of the lens so we can just take that out too and then I have good space to see what's happened is a long screw and then <clears throat> 
I should be able to lift off the, the circuit board, take care of all the flex, the thin flex cables. They're really in a way fragile. So now it's free. That's the other side. Well, here's. So everything looks fine. It's not where the problem is, but then we can take a closer look to what's actually happened in here. So if we see the this key is actually very loose. So the only thing I need to do is actually to unscrew it with the two screws. And the one screw sits actually tight, but not the other. Hmm. Weird. Take good care uh, so you will not lose the the parts inside the lens. <laughs> that would be a problem. And then I can take the other part out. Short screw without any thread lock on. Hmm. Yeah. They probably not made it to last that long. So I can take the key out here. It's quite long. So one can see it's actually really. I think it looks like it's steel. So um, but we can have a look here if it's. Yeah, it's magnetic. So I think it should be a problem to to actually weld them well with the silver and a flame together so they have to sit like this and I think glue will not work not at all it should I mean there is a kind of, there is actually a lot of pressure on when moving the the zoom ring here and I, about that, don't turn it too much because underneath some hair around there is a brush. So um, don't let it move around or take it out because then you will probably um, uh, damage the, the brush inside here around, which could be a huge problem to line them up. And so it will be okay again. So just let it stay there and uh, I will uh, can, uh, try to show you how this probably can be done. So um, yeah, see you soon. Now I have set up some um, a stone, special stone for for when you're making um, jewelries and uh, it's a uh, very heat uh, resistance. So the small part here uh, is uh, actually going, I, um, I will simply use a burner, just like this one, a proxon, just like this, and some silver and some uh, thing called boax i don't know it's uh, the name in in english but um i will simply simply turn on the heat turn up the heat <laughs> for the burner um and uh, simply trying to see if i can uh, if i simply can put them together so I prepare a little hole where I can stick the one of the pins down to here and uh, let it stay there. We just have to to align it. So something like that. I think it would be fine. And then I need to add some boax 
in one of the parts here it's some uh, it's actually some some powder special powder so when you weld something together uh, with silver it has to be prepared with so something like that and maybe I can add a little more. I'm very close to the actually the camera and and I'm filming through a lens <laughs> uh, my magnifying glass. So I think it I think it will work, hopefully. <laughs> Interesting stuff. Now then I can uh, add my my burner. And uh, I only have one go for this, so uh, I'm seeing this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. No. So I was a little too close to it. I probably has to to uh, it's difficult because I cannot see the flame at that point so I really have to work carefully I think it will work going on I think it will um, I think it works uh, pretty good see if I can go a little closer to it so yeah, I think so then I can uh, let it stay a little to actually cool down and in that way um, hopefully it I think it's fine yeah so of course I need to drill a hole in the in the one part of I mean this uh, hole over here it shouldn't be a problem because there's already a hole so and the guide pin you see the one here and there should also be another one so I need to file it uh, which of course I will not uh, it will take too long to <laughs> to, um, to filming but I think uh, it looks like it's pretty good yeah well it could be better but hmm, yeah okay I will show it uh, when I'm done so let's see for now so I will um, I will simply grind the small piece on so it looks nice and fine so it, uh, it also will be good of course it will be noisy but um, yeah, I will take away the sound I'll speed up the process Yeah, uh, then I just need to to drill a hole, or maybe yeah, yeah. I think it will be, I think it will be quite good. 
and uh, take some of the, the small piece of uh, oh, piece of whatsoever is on here of the stone just like being at the dentist <laughs> Yeah, I need some filing here. And then I need to drill a hole up again. So now I will drill the hole and uh, see if it's going through. I just marked it a little. So well, so now it's uh, it's fine. Maybe the hole was a little a little bigger than the other, uh, but it doesn't really matter as long as the guide pins are there uh, on each of them. So I think it'll be fine. So now I will just uh, file a little. Yeah, I think I uh, I think it will be. Okay, yeah, it looks, doesn't really matter on the other side here, but um, as long as it's the distance between the two guide pins are fine, I would, uh, yeah, maybe it needs some uh, filing around here or this, but um, yeah. And now, so... <clears throat> the uh, the new repaired <laughs> piece of metal here um, it looks really good I've just tried to put it on here and it looks really good so uh, yeah that's just the only thing to do is to, to assemble it and I will use uh, the thread lock uh, Loctite 222 because is the the softest than you can say it's softer than the 243 <clears throat> and um, so it's best so uh, and this is the actual purple color I mean the bottle the bottles are all red, uh, but this is the softest of them, uh, the thread lock. So uh, it's really good for that kind of work. Just need something to put it on. Just need a little. So we'll also put on the uh, the rest of the screws because they they really. They was they were not really good at all. So I just add a little. Shake well before use. <laughs> As I said. So we'll just use a little. Maybe it's too much, but uh this is only for showing what's going on. So that we have in place <clears throat> and can do the assembly. So now I can put in this key and uh, I have no idea if you can buy those online somewhere on the internet but um, maybe someone has a web address where one can get those spare parts I mean for some lenses it's difficult to actually get anything let's see what's happened here Oh. 
yeah, it seems to work. So, let's do it. Just a tiny amount. But remember, this is the softest of the thread locks. I wouldn't think there would so I think there will there wouldn't be any problem with taking it apart just like if I have used the the green one or even the red one but think of the the very small screws I mean they could have been a little longer but of course it cost money So, this is all fine. So let's see what's happened. Wow, just like new. <laughs> now that's really good. Back to life, which is fine. So I can uh, just assemble the rest of it. I mean, maybe. I mean, the lens has been working pretty hard, I think. What about all those screws here? Are they loose? Just checking if, when I'm in here. It would be a shame if some of them are loose. And I didn't check it. But they all... Seems to look. Yeah. So that's it. So now I can put the uh, circuit board on. And it has to sit like this. Let's see the big one over here. <coughs> Something like that. And just uh, have to take good care of the flex. There. And I think it's all. Uh, Fine. Just have to turn it a little, of course. Didn't came in the correct place. See. So now here we are. It can of course only sit in one position. <coughs> And so this screw will go in and just give it a little on the side of the screw so it will not, not do anything flew away. So and now we can add all of the the uh, flex cables maybe it's better with this one here at least put it in and then I can use the the little hmm, pointy tool so just so I set them in position and then push them in so there and the rest the last one here So, and where did my little tool go? Here. So, 
over there. There it goes. Mm. Sits there. Wow. Here we go, really. So, and this the white, the big one here. Be very careful when pressing them in so you're not damage them so that's it so now I can put on the the mount not the mount but the ring it's here and it has to sit with the with the um, manual uh, auto focus button so it has to sit over here and it can just be put on and then my mount here with the two holes there there and one in for the guide pin here for the for the flex I mean for the contact bridge so whatever it's called and so I just have to align the what was holes So here we are. And then add a screw for the mount. Just use a very tiny amount. No need for adding too much, but since uh, the mount was actually the loose, the screws was actually loose a little. So I'll just use a very little amount, just so they will not lose itself. I mean it's quite old length, so the and. Tighten them good, not too much, because remember they are screwed into plastic, which I don't understand. Of course the lens would have been a lot heavier if it was all made by metal. So screw the contact. Connector in here, tighten it good, and then we clean, can clip on this this cover here. And of course, we have to press it in a little here. Just dirt. So, and here we are. Back on track. Focus is working, and the zoom. Now that's great, actually. There's no loose stuff here. So that's all fine. It took a little longer. I mean, uh, I'll put the video together with all these parts where I made the little, prepared the little part. So hope you can uh, use the info. Uh, probably if there is any spare part out there, I have no idea. I didn't didn't even search on that. <laughs> but. Um, it, it is possible to repair this kind of stuff. So that's all for me. Hope you enjoy the content. That's all. Bye bye.